Hey guys. All right, guys. I decided that today we were going to check out this video, and these are the reasons why, and then we'll talk about the band and the name and the song and all that. I received, well, now I have to say the name of the band, Lacrimas Profundere, Latin for what I believe to be sorrowful tears or deep sorrowful tears, something along those lines. My Latin very, is a little very rusty. Very doom and gloomy. Uh, my Latin is a little rusty. The name of the song is The Kingdom of Solicitude. All right. I almost said solitude. He's been practicing. Yes, I've been practicing. So this song is from their new album. I received their new album for review, which, by the way, I already posted a review of said album. And when I got the album for review, I was like, oh, this interesting name. Let me let me check it out. Then I do a little bit of a background check, and I realize these guys have been around for a long time. Now, having said that, the, this new album, there's a little bit of a lineup change. They have a new singer. Uh, they have a few new members into the band. So there's been a little bit of a reshuffle of the cards, if you will. So this new album, the lineup is much different from the previous albums, all right? But when I listened to the album, I was like, where have I been that I've never heard of this band before until I got the album, right? I feel like you say that with a lot of albums. Yeah, because, I mean, there's a lot of bands. But I, f I feel like a band like these guys, they've been around for a long time. Uh, I don't it's, know. It's weird that they haven't... They, they have like 10, 11, 12, something like that. I don't know how many albums they have. They've been around for a while. They've gone under your radar. Completely. Completely under my radar. So by listening to this album and discovering the band through this new record, I actually ended up going back and checking some of their older stuff before I recorded the review because I wanted to see uh, the progression of their sound because according to Metal Encyclopedia, they started out more as a doom death metal, melodic doom death metal band. I mean, I can... Yeah, and now they're more of a gothic metal band. Like So there's been a progression. So I actually went back and but checked they've some... Stayed, they've stayed with that kind of... Gloomy feeling. Gloomy feeling, yeah, that has not gone away. So that stayed through. So what I did was I went back, I checked some of their uh, earlier stuff. I checked a couple of songs from each album all the way up to the new album so I could have a better idea of the, the progression of the sound. And then I listened to the, to the album over and over and over again, and then I recorded the review. And then after I was done with all of that, I was like, you will never hear this band. Even if I put it on your phone, you probably sure. will skip through it because you don't know who they are and the name sounds weird. That's pretty much what I think you will think. So I was like, there's no way you're gonna check out this band and you're missing you're missing an incredible band. So I was like, okay, the only way I can get you on board is by video. And this is my favorite song of the album. All right? This is my absolute favorite song of the album. So are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to feel some sourness? No, no, not not like like sourness, like you feel like sour, you know, like maybe sourness is not the right word. I feel like, but I feel some like these, sadness. I feel like these guys will, you know, good, go, uh, go good with my playlist because I, mean, I, I think so too. That's why we're doing this video. All right, let's not prolong this anymore. Let's do this. Let us breathe. In. Got nothing more to lose. Not again for the star that will break there. They will crumble. Thank you. 
What did you think? That's that's definitely going into my playlist. The whole album is magnificent. The whole album is absolutely magnificent. I mean, you, you know I... You know, I like having this. said that, he doesn't use harsh vocals on every single song on the album. I just want to put that out there. This one is perhaps one of the the songs on the new record that there's a little bit more harsh vocals because he doesn't use like. But having said that, one of the things that I mentioned on my album review, sorry to interrupt you, one of the things I mentioned on my album review was that listening to this record at one point in time, I thought they had like seven different singers because yeah. his range is so vast in terms of what he can do with his voice that. I was almost every song he sounds different on every song and i'm like holy crap who, who, did they hire like a freaking like like i don't know like a, a platoon of singers and they're taking turns like you know what i mean on, on who sings tracks who sings vocals on a track his range is killer killer he, he reminded me as i go through the album not in this song but as he as you go through the album it reminded me a little bit of him a little bit of typo negative you know, the same style and sound. Kind of deep. Uh, uh, yeah, some songs it goes really deep. And the songs are really drawn out. So it has that kind of typo negative feel to it. Some of them, like I said, a little bit more him. And then some, like this one. This one is almost like something out of Draconian. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. The album, the, the best way I, I can describe the album for you is every song is different. Like I told you, like it feels like it has seven different singers. Every song is different. What keeps everything together as one record versus having one record that sounds like it has 10 singles is the fact that the mood is the same on every single song. So you have this dark and, and mood even, on even every like, single even song. In this song, you know, his voice is so deep. And so it, it, it does remind me of like typo negative. The, the deeper parts. The deeper. Uh, not quite, but, but, but some reminiscence of that. Yeah, his harsh vocals are really good. His harsh vocals are really, really good. I know it's outstanding how you can have the like, I thought styles was, I thought are so I thought incredible. Was the person doing the harsh vocals. No, 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 no. They only have one vocalist. He does everything. He he has. Him. I told you. Listening to the record at the end of the record, I had to go into their press release to see if they had like the guitar player doing backup vocals or if they had a guest vocalist. I'm like, do they have seven vocalists? Like, or, or every what, song what the hell? Every vocalist. every song is a different guest vocalist. Yeah. Every song. Like I said, the songs all have a very unique structure, so all the songs on the record are very different from each other. What ties them all together is the mood and the in the lyrics. All the lyrics have this 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 really sorrowful, this 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 deep, Which, painful you, you know, vibe like, to it. You know, that's like one of my favorite type of metals. Oh, me too. Like I absolutely doom and gloom. It just embraces you and it just yeah. takes you away. You know what I mean? Like absolute. This record. It's absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. It, this is the first album that he records with the band. So he's new to the band. They had a different singer before. Uh, and I really feel like the, the, the range that he brings to the table, the delivery, the, the, the way he delivers it is absolutely phenomenal. If, if They couldn't have found somebody better. Like this guy is really good. And he's currently living in Finland. The band is from Germany, I believe, and the singer lives in Finland. I mean, maybe we'll cross paths with him when we're there. You know, maybe it's because he went to Finland. He started singing. Uh, <laughs> he started. I he think started, he, he started drinking some Perkasani. Perkasani, and then he developed the incredible vocals. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I I think the band knew about him before he moved to Finland, so I don't think that's the case. But it's a good story. It's a good well, story. Maybe they knew about him. Maybe he was really, really good, but now he's, he's just really, got better. Really good. Yeah. He's just got better. This this he track. Bought a Cases of purpose on it. Oh my god, man, this song is so good. It's so the 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 clean vocals are so haunting, so beautiful. By the way, did you notice the cellos in the background? I did. It it, it added another level to how dark, how how painful that track felt. You know what I mean? Like the cellos were absolutely beautiful because it, they were not necessarily they were not powerful. No, they were just kind of almost like. Like the waves of, of the ocean, they were kind of just kind of, kind of coming in and kind of disappearing, then coming in it again. It went with the video. It went perfectly with the video. Yeah. But I think it really added another layer to the whole vibe, the atmosphere of the song. It added atmosphere to the track. So much, oh, man, I have... so much despair. So much. Listen, dude. When I heard the album, I, I played it through, and by the time I was over, I was like, okay, now I have to go back and check some of their older stuff. Where the hell? Where have? It's not where the have they been. It's where have I been? Yeah. Because this, to me, is it's exactly... I it's love this kind of they, stuff. It's different if they're like... They've only had like... Two like one or, or two albums. Yeah, yeah. Or two or, or like three or four. And that's like... 
Okay. You know, if if you're if you're around the ten the ten album mark, then you're you like, should... well, like where the hell have I been? Yeah. Not where have they been? Where have I been? All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this track, man. Check my album review and and, and check the new album from these guys. Absolutely incredible. If you like this kind of stuff, if you're a fan of doom metal or gothic metal, so if you're a fan of him, uh, you know, typo negative. If you're, if you're a fan of draconian, yeah. you know, th those kind of bands. You know what I mean? A little bit of Paradise Lost. Uh, any events like any anything like um, a pill horse named Death. If you're a fan of those bands, any, you any, gotta any, pick this up. This album is incredible. Any type of metal that has a lot of emotion. And Swallow the Sun, Halotar, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, uh, any any of those, uh, any of those. Having said that, like I said, don't go based on this and think that it's gonna be harsh. This is not a Halotar album, all right. This is not a Halotar album. This is something else. There are harsh vocals throughout the record. But this perhaps is the song that uses them the most. But regardless, the album is bellissimo. They're not Italian, but it's bellissimo. All right. Masterpiece. Masterpiece. It's absolutely incredible. I was blown away. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Let us know. By the way, let us know your thoughts in the comment section. I want to know if I'm the only one that had never heard of this band before. Let us know in the comment section if you knew about the band before. What are your thoughts? We, I, I love hearing from people that put me in my place all the time. All right, so uh, use the comment section below to put me in my place, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care, guys. See ya.